Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magdalene with Jet right here on Metal Messiah Radio. Tonight we have a guest with us who many of us know from his time in Queensryche, Operation Mind Crime, as well as his own solo project. But tonight we'll be talking about a new project he is in called Sweet Oblivion. We have Jeff Tate. Welcome to the show, Jeff. Hey, nice to be here. So, Jeff, Sweet Oblivion, made up of Italian musicians, assembled by Simone Mulroney. So, what was the idea that, that they pitched to you about this project? Well, actually, it was uh, pitched to me by uh, Sir Fino from my record label, uh-huh. here, which is mm-hmm. based in, uh, in Italy. And uh, he was uh, familiar with Simone and... Uh, two of us might be able to make something unique together if we were able to hook up, you know. So we did, and, uh, you know, we started passing around ideas, and uh, before you knew it, you know, several months had gone by, and we we had an album together, which was uh, kind of cool. You know, we had, uh, I think one of the coolest things about this record for me is that it it was completely... um, dreamed up and recorded and, and uh, written all in the virtual internet world without ever having us in the same room, you know, uh, which was really refreshing to work that way. And uh, it, it was great because we worked in, well, I was, I was on tour at the time, so I was in, uh, gosh, 19 different countries <laughs> when I recorded this record. So it was, it was a, but an international feeling record, I think, you know. And, you know, the bio states that that the re- album, you know, is kind of playing off of, you know, the Queen's right sound during the 80s time. So what is it about those years that you think made Queen's right so appealing to people? I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah. I have no clue. I know one one of the things that was attractive to me about uh, some of the music that uh, Simone had written was that it was very familiar to me. You know, it was Mm -hmm. reminiscent of songs that I had written years ago. And so that was a a nice familiar jumping off point for us, you know, to begin working. It wasn't uh, alien sounding, you know, like, like some music you hear. I could definitely hear myself in it. Well, I think a lot of the listeners kind of get the same vibe from the music, too. It, it's like nostalgic, but new, you know, so it's, it's, it's uh, kind of cool. So we kind of all like it. So, Jeff, how would you say over the years that, that you've progressed as both a singer and a writer? Oh, gosh, I think that's probably evident in uh, the 19 different albums I've written. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of all there, you know, and uh, glorious technicolor. Yeah, I've uh, I've really been on a a quest, you know, really to uh, explore music, explore uh, uh, ideas I've had uh, in terms of uh, translating into a musical world and uh, really uh, just uh, endeavoring to uh, do something unique and different each time with with the release that I I do. It's kind of been my, my game plan from the beginning. And, you know, you're still coming up with new things and wanting to try new things. Um, keeping, th- how do you keep so creative? I mean, after all these years, it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not difficult. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> I, you know, I just always think, I always think of things in musical terms. You know, like mm-hmm. uh, you name it, uh, a subject. Um, I think of it. Well, how do, how would that sound? Mm-hmm. You know, so I luckily live in a, a time period right now where the technology we have enables me to uh, interpret those ideas musically very efficiently now and quickly. You know, I have a mobile recording studio. I 
Well, it's nice when you don't have to even leave home to do this and travel all over the place and meet schedules and times and everything else. So technology is a wonderful thing sometimes, Jeff. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely technology-oriented. Uh, <laughs> and, and now as far as Sweet Oblivion goes, did Simone already have the music written, you know, for you um, to add the lyrics to, or did you guys work together on the music as well? Yeah, both. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit of both. We had some pieces that were, uh, you know, established, and we had things that were just on the drawing board, you know, which was nice because it was, uh, you know, a, a nice rounded project. Mm -hmm. it, so, so tell us a little bit about, you know, what some of the songs are about and where you kind of drew inspiration or ideas for lyrics from when writing these lyrics for this album. Oh, uh, gosh. Well, I have this idea that music is a very individual entity that we all tap into and we all hear very differently. Like, you can take a person and put them in an orchestra you know, a musical uh, presentation. And, and to some people, it just sounds like a wall of sound. And to other people, they could pick out all the detail. They could tell you what instrument is playing what at any given time. Uh, that's the way we hear, the difference is the way we hear music. And so when I make a record, I, I like to sort of leave it up to the listener to interpret it in a way that, that they do. Because music reminds you of things, you know, it mm -hmm. reminds you of, things you've experienced, it reminds you of how you felt at a certain time, it reinforces your emotional connection uh, to a lot of events in your life, you know, and uh, I would hate to spoil that by sort of uh, shaping somebody's opinion about the piece, you know, I'd like to let them discover it on their own, really. And now, is this going to be uh, just a one album project, or are you already thinking about doing more releases? I don't really know yet. Uh, we just sort of got together and did it, and then, you know, it's it's gotten a lot of attention, which is nice. Uh, quite a surprise, really, to all of us. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe if we get together and do another one, then maybe a tour would be something that makes sense at that point, you know. I don't know. I just don't have an answer for that right now. It's, just, it's all so new, you know. And speaking of new, I see that you guys just released another song off the album a couple of hours ago. So who, who picks what tracks get pre-released, and how do you go about choosing that? I have no idea. <laughs> they just said, we're releasing this one. <laughs> <laughs> the Italians kind of do what the heck they want, so I don't know. I just, you know, I kind of just say, uh, okay, great, nice talking to you. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice for you then, really. <laughs> And, Have fun. <laughs> and the you know you had you had mentioned also that you've been getting a lot of great feedback. So what have been some of the feedback you've got? Like I think three songs out now. It's coming out soon um, next week. So what have been some of like the early comments that you've been hearing from fans so far? Uh, I don't really remember the details so much as just the, the feeling about it is mm -hmm. that uh, they like it. It's immediate immediate with them, you know, which I think is due to the fact that it's kind of uh, in, the, in their comfort zone, mm -hmm. you know, as far as this thing goes there. It's a, a lot of guitar-driven music where the guitar is very up front and there's a lot going on with the guitar and I'm typically singing in higher registers, which people seem to like a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it sounds a bit reminiscent of uh, some old Queen's Rite music, so it's, uh, it's likable, you know. And for you personally, right, after hearing the album, after it was all written and recorded and mastered, what were your personal feelings on hearing the completed product for the first time? Gosh, I think, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't remember, really. I think I was just sort of happy that it was finished and, <laughs> and uh, you know, they had some plans to release it, you know, because you never know. Sometimes you do records and they don't get released for years, you know, or months. So I, did, I didn't actually realize they wanted to put it out so quickly, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> Works really well. And 
Jeff, if people want to learn more about what's going on with you, where you're going to be performing with your bands and this such, what sites are the best for people to go check that out? Gosh, <laughs> I guess because that'll that'll take you everywhere you need to go. <laughs> I love I love Google. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Jeff, take Google, and you're pretty well, gonna go everywhere. So <laughs> yeah. So there you guys go, Sweet Oblivion featuring Jeff Tate will be officially released June 14th on Frontiers Music. You all could check uh, Jeff's projects out by Googling him. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, thanks for taking the time out to come on the show. Tell us a little about Sweet Oblivion and all the best to you and everything you got going on. All right. Well, thanks for having me on your show. It's 